The three keys to a great presentation are preparation, preparation, and preparation. Presentations are like a bomb that can go off in your face if you don't prepare well. The absolute first thing to do is to defuse that bomb. The presenter's bomb stands for benefits to your audience, outcomes for you as the presenter, map of your presentation, and background information. Let's start by looking at each of the four components of the presenter's bomb. Start by thinking about benefits to your audience and ask yourself and answer a number of questions before you move any further. Who is in your audience? And why are they there? And crucially, why should they give up their time to listen to your presentation? What do they want to know? And what do they need to know? And how do they like their presenters to present information and to communicate with them? And crucially, how will they or their business or organization benefit from their attendance at your presentation? Fundamentally, this is all about answering the question, what's in it for them? Next, you need to answer a whole load of questions about the outcomes for you as the presenter. Firstly, why will you be presenting? And secondly, what will be a great success from the presentation? What would be the ideal outcome you could achieve? And of course, how would you know that you've had that great success? And of course, that's closely linked to the question, what change do you want to create in your audience? What do you want them to do? What do you want them to think? What do you want them to remember? Fundamentally, this is about you answering the question, what's in it for me? What are you going to get out of presenting? The third step in diffusing the presenter's bomb is to map out your presentation so that you've got an overall structure for it. What is the story that you want to tell? And what are the key messages that you need to put into your story? And along the root of your story, what are the essential points that you need to make? What's the sequence of the story, the flow, the structure? Fundamentally, this is all about answering the question, how will you make your presentation compelling, persuasive, and powerful. Finally, you need to think about the background information that will make your presentation a success. Start by asking, answering what is the context within which you're going to be giving the presentation. As a result, what information do you need to know to support your development of your story? What can you assume that your audience will already know? And what do you need to make sure you tell them so that they can understand your key points? Fundamentally, this is all about understanding what the 80% of background information is that you need to have in your head as you deliver the prime 20% of information that your audience wants and needs to hear. The second thing we need to discuss in the context of preparing for your presentation is prioritizing the information that you give to your audience. The core concept here is the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule that says usually there is 20% of the information that you could give which will have 80% of the impact on your audience. If you don't want to bore them with the whole 100%, don't worry because the last 80% of information is only going to have a marginal impact. 
So you need to identify what that 20% is, what the good stuff is. And this brings us to what I think of as the journalist principle. To slaughter your darlings or kill your darlings or murder your darlings. The idea being that all those wonderful turns of phrase that you come up with in preparing, all those great extra ideas that you could throw in to show just how much you know, if they are not worth it, if they do not deliver real value, real impact to your audience, no matter how much you love them, they've got to go. As far as I could tell, this idea was originally articulated by Arthur Quiller Couch at the start of the 20th century. In particular, he was taking issue with what he called extraneous ornament, those beautiful pieces of writing that we put into our articles, into our books and into our presentations that make us happy, but don't help our audience to understand and appreciate what we're saying. He said that if you here require a practical rule of me, I will present you with this. Whenever you feel an impulse to perpetrate a piece of exceptionally fine writing, obey it wholeheartedly and delete it before sending your manuscript to press. Murder your darlings. When you are going to give a presentation, the single most important thing you can do is to prepare well. Not only does it result in a better presentation, it will give you the confidence to deliver it well also. And in preparing your presentation, you need to diffuse the presenter's bomb. You need to think about the benefits to your audience, the outcomes that you want to achieve, a map of the structure of your presentation, the background information you need, and how to prioritize that information. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and learned from it. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.